Wat Po, the temple of the prone Buddha. This famous religious landmark is the largest and oldest monastery complex in Bangkok. Almost 200 years before Bangkok became the country's official capital city under the rule of King Rama I, a smaller temple complex already existed. However, nothing remains of the original buildings. The stylishly decorated buildings of Wat Po developed in the 18th and 19th centuries. Today, some of the buildings have a religious function, whereas others form sections of an impressive museum. The unique social significance of this temple is indicated by the remarkable artistic decoration of its 95 pagodas. Ninety-one individually designed cupolas, among them four mighty towering cadis, rise symbolically into the sky. Thailand's first monarchs had no fear of spending either money or energy for the construction of the unique temple complex of Wat Po. Traditional bell towers that are located north and south of the extensive monastery display the time to the monks and devout followers of this Buddhist sanctuary. The temple complex was originally planned to be tantamount to what we know today as a university and due to its close proximity to the royal residence, it was frequently extended. Regardless of its transformation, its important library, as well as its archaeological, astrological and medical implements, continued to be housed within the temple. More than 1,000 Buddha statues, some of them having originated from the early capital cities of Ayutthaya and Sukhothai, highlight the religious significance of Wat Po. Thus, those who come here are not only keen to inspect its treasures, but they're also fascinated by the thousands of years old religious faith of the temple's former inhabitants. Three hundred and ninety-four Buddha statues of various epochs and styles are to be found within its halls. They surround the main building that is situated in the eastern section of the four great Kedis within the temple complex. The dominant central chapel lies at the heart of the Buddhist monastery of Wat Po. 
It dates back to the time of King Rama I. The sandstone frieze of the Bot, the main chapel, contains illustrations of a traditional Indian drama, the classic Ramakien epic. The first four kings of the Chakri dynasty reside forever within Wat Po. Indeed, the temple's four largest cupolas were dedicated to them. But the buildings were not only meant for the monarchy and priests. This sacred area also served as an educational institution. In the middle of the 19th century, King Rama III created an institution that was similar to a university dedicated to the people. Thus, the former common people of Bangkok were able to gain an insight into both science and the arts. The architecture of King Rama I and also the subsequent architectural styles created by King Rama III were influenced by Ayutthaya design. Covering almost eight hectares, the temples of Wat Po provide a remarkable variety of interest and several opportunities for meditation and relaxation. In addition to its famous architectural beauty, the monastery also boasts one of the most renowned traditional massage schools in Thailand. The traditional medicine of Thailand can also be found within the temple complex. From within a pavilion, numerous doctors hold consultations. Only 24 of the former 80 statues that date back to the reign of King Rama I have managed to survive in their traditional medical postures. The traditional Thai massage offered in Wat Po is still of great importance. And today, this form of massage and relaxation is enjoying at least as much popularity as it did in bygone times. Mm -hmm. 